everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to learn about, again, we're start, We're doing more on Swift, but today we're going to be learning about classes and enums and stuff like that. So, classes, you define them like this, right? You have a class, then you specify the name, let's call it Hello World. Right? And if it's if you want to specify the type you can, usually in a UV controller file it's gonna be UIV controller. But you do not have to specify type, it's optional. And it can just be a custom type of its own. And inside here you can have variables. And you can also have these things called functions, which we'll also be learning about. Functions. So, functions, what they can do, you can, if you're trying to run a set of code, like let's say you want to run an if statement and you, want, you have parameters, you can do that with the function. So, it's, just call it say hi, I guess, and you can have parameters in here. But just remember, you have to put that underscore before you put the parameters. Parameters are put like this. You put an underscore and you specify the name. So let's say name is a string. So that's specifying the type. You can put a you can put a comma and have more parameters. And let's say this is first name. And the last name. And so you can do anything in here. So you can say, let's say print hello world backslash first name. last name it's not going to print anything but because we're not calling this function the way to call it outside outside of the class what you can do is you can type hello world right dot say hi but this will give you an error because you have to create an instance of hello world. So we create a variable, right? We're gonna call it hello world, just all lowercase, and set it equal to hello world. And we're initializing it. So we put to open parentheses. This way, we can just call hello world, nope, the other one, dot say hi. First name is duck, Last name is Duck. Yeah, and you see here updates every time. So we can change this to Duck. And it updates to what we typed in. So that's functions. Now let's cover enums. So we can create a club, an enum like this, right? Just like that. And then you can give it a name. So hello world. Type, I guess. And again, you don't have to specify the type. You have cases. Case dot normal then you can have and we don't need that actually let's say um oh okay so 
enums you basically can define like dot dot normal and stuff like that. So you'll eventually learn how to use enums. But they won't if you're a coder, chances are you're probably not gonna be using them unless you're a framework coder. Same for classes. Unless you're creating custom class and you don't wanna like define all the parameters customly. So but no, there's another kind called structs. Let's see if we can find it. Struct high. Structs are basically like things where you can create a custom class and they can have parameters. Name, string, age, int, and you can do stuff like that. And what have we got here? Looks like you gotta make that optional. Or actually, we have to put var. Var. And you're gonna have to make this optional. Or actually, I don't think you have to. There we go. And we can create a new high. I dot name duck duck and I dot age equals twenty. And what error is it giving? So you can initialize it like that, actually. So name duck age 12, I guess, or 21, something like that. Doesn't matter. Print, and you can print its parameters. Dot name print. I dot H and anything like that. It's gonna give Skuck and Tino. So in the next video, we will be covering the first basics of iOS coding. So like iOS programming, setting the UI, linking the code to the UI, and it will not just include Swift. It will include a lot of things that are gonna be quite complicated. So. Hang on tight. See you then.